Hello again everybody and welcome back to Dungeon Magic Sorry the Elements Part 2. And most of this episode is probably going to be grinding, so let's get started. Uh, first thing we are going to be doing though is going to be uh dealing with the dungeon. Yeah, let's see here, right? I actually think we need to go through the, uh, lowest, the southern part of the entrance area. Those one just dig. I wasn't planning on killing any of these things, but apparently I have to. There we go. Don't worry about gold. Let me tell you, there's uh, plenty of it you can get. Anyway, you'll be running into a lot of uh, enemies from the first level. Including the sorcerers, which are much more dangerous in this uh, area. <laughs> Okay, go down these stairs, and, uh, let's see, are we... I get that. Make sure you use the, uh, camping thing to rest to gain HP back. Let's see here. Man, it was over here. Okay, let's just go down, which should be uh, pretty much right to our right. Right there. And now down again. Now then, I believe this is where you get the uh, fairy. Fairy sword. It was either that or the wind sword, I'm not entirely sure. Mm -hmm. 
Make sure you keep your HP up, though. Seriously, if you run into any wizards, they can hit very hard and deal around 20 damage. Really, they aren't going to be too problematic as long as you don't get caught in any doorways. Which, unfortunately, you probably will, seeing as that there's essentially just three of them uh, right in this next area. Just in doorways. If you're quick enough, you shouldn't have to uh, deal with any of them. Uh, actually, pretty sure the blue fur armor is better than the uh, standard blue armor. Okay, there's nothing there. Alright, let's take a shortcut. Here you go down. And let's see here. There's plenty of treasures you can actually get here, including a uh, helm. Helm. Uh, a uh, blue suit of blue fur, which I think is supposed to be better than the... Uh, Standard blue armor, uh, apparently white gloves. Quite a few uh, healing items. <laughs> yeah, that's the blindness I was talking about. Thankfully, it isn't right too problematic. Honestly, I think it's uh, easier on the eyes than... Uh, let's see where we're going. We need to uh, go... Oh yeah, I think we do need to go to the upper left. That's one. I believe so. Okay, uh, one of these ones. Nothing over there. Yeah. I 
By the way, I'm not the one actually controlling when the map uh, turns off. Because uh, that's actually the way the game's set up. Because unfortunately, uh, you can't actually select whenever. Yeah, you, you essentially only hit it, uh, and it only flashes for a brief moment. Which is a very big nuisance. And I guess I went the wrong way. Now I had to have gone the right way then. Okay, let's uh, just go back up. No, this is the right way. Let's see here, we need to get down to that lower one in that area. Okay, now that we got that nice and situated, uh, let's see here. Over here. Yep, let's just go down. Okay, there we go. I think this is it. You know, I had to deal with a red ogre. And that's that. There you go. Oh, well, at least I got some uh, pieces of equipment. Right, right. Again, that one's just an item, so I can't really grab that. Or that one, apparently. Blindness is actually cured upon exiting. Okay, uh, it should be good for what I'm going to be doing next, uh, grinding. Honestly, I would suggest grinding over in this area. You'll gain five experience each for every zombie and about seven for every golem. Which makes this a pretty easy experience and gold come to think of it seeing as you usually get around 15 gold for uh, each enemy that drops a chest. Which they actually do pretty often.
I should mention that uh, wind spells don't actually take effect in caves. So you can't actually exit that uh, cave using a wind spell. Which I will say is unfortunate. Especially seeing as uh, that's pretty much one of the main uses of the wind spells being that you can actually leave uh, dungeons with them. Okay, well, I think that's about it. Again, you're going to have to resituate things if uh, you don't have a good amount of things to run with. There we go. Of course, wrong one. I forget which one this is. Air Fairy. Well, let's see if that. 43 HP. Well, I can't complain about that. I guess it was a fairy. Because I can't actually get that one away. Okay, that's fine though. Yeah, okay, let's sell all the things we don't need. Uh, speaking of which, let's check that at 210. The way I check things is uh, checking the price. If an item's price is higher, it, uh, it's better, but really, yeah, actually, that's a moot point, seeing as I'm gonna be a... Uh, yeah, let's sell that one, and go ahead and buy the, uh... Plate mail. Okay. Right there, we have that, 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 and 580. That shouldn't be too difficult to get. We got the best weapon. Well, better than them. I, actually, I think there might be a, uh, another weapon that you get in the North Tower that is better than the foil, but uh, that's going to be a very long time. To actually successfully get that. So, let's see here. I do not think I rested tonight. Okay, let's uh, rest real quick and then get to grinding. Which honestly I find grinding over in this uh, area is going to be just overall faster. 
as well as uh, pretty profitable seeing as these things drop a good amount of gold. Okay, let's just go north. Or sorry, up. I think I should have enough to get the uh, best helm for the time being here. I, I think you get silver helm in uh, North Tower, which again isn't going to be for a very long time, so. Not what I meant to do. All right. What was it for the helmet? Five sixty. I'd like to say around five sixty. Now we can get there through there. Okay. Another thing I don't think I uh, mentioned earlier is the fact that only one treasure chest can actually appear on one square at a time. That being said, uh, to maximize profits, you're better off just sort of uh, retreating away from a area where, where uh, an enemy did drop a treasure chest if you can't get right off because you won't be able to get another one until uh, after you grab that one. So try to grab all treasure chests as you uh, as they drop. It might be worth uh, going through the first stages of the uh, level I just went through for training purposes as well. Okay, then let's just leave and uh, deal with those things. K 
keywords here being first stages that uh, don't bother going down to where the sorcerers are because those things can uh, kill you very quickly. They're just really not worth the uh, pain you deal with. Eh, let's see here. Okay, let's go around here then. Okay, let's go to it voice the second four. I'll wait until oh let's say four hundred and fifty for the next level up. Pretty sure the the uh, sorcerers don't appear until level four, four four, and that one just wants to uh, prove me wrong. Let's just go back to uh, the cave method. Okay, go in and uh, 
talk to whichever wizard it is. Okay, level well, 8, and now we have around 60 HP. Okay, now I'd like to say we can uh, deal with, or well, start to deal with uh, the dragon layer after we rest. Got no helmet. Wrong option. Let's uh, just buy some more of these. And always 30. Okay, let's uh, just get one more of those. Okay, and that's... Okay, that should be good. We're going to be dealing with the Dragon's Lair. I should be uh, fairly well off, seeing as I do have the Flail. Just please know that uh, the uh, Dragon's Lair can be very, very devastating. And honestly, uh, you don't actually get attacked by any dragons in there. It's, uh, an unless, of course, you actually uh, run into the dragon you're supposed to speak to without having magi armor on, which, let me tell you, is just a really good way of getting yourself killed. Now, let's see here. Well, well, I don't think I'm ready for that anytime soon. Okay, well then. Okay, yeah, as I said, uh, things get much more difficult very, very fast. As you just saw, I could barely do anything to any of those uh, monsters. So I better just stick to uh, dealing with things right here. Sometimes uh, you'll actually appear on a monster, it'll actually cause a monster to despawn. Please note that technically there are a few levels you can uh, do before the Dragon's Lair, but really, uh, if I remember right, one of them's supposed to be something you do after the Dragon's Lair, and uh, the other one is really not that important if you uh, are planning on getting the Ring of Flight uh, through the Earth method like I did. Where you just uh, sort of move the water around and... Uh, just grab that real quick.
As I said, uh, most of this episode is grinding. Okay, there we go. I really don't know uh, what else to say in these parts. I mean, I sort of already covered most of the things. Although I uh, should mention that uh, at one time I did uh, look up a guide on how exactly to defend yourself and it. Uh, I, I don't I don't know why it just said something along the lines of uh, you're supposed to turn at the right time. I'm not entirely sure when exactly the right time is, but uh, anyway, head back. And I also said something about uh, some monsters are actually not implemented in the game. That is, uh, those uh, demon monsters you run into in uh, uh, the Dragon Warrior are, uh, there's supposed to be a weaker variant that appears in the sky area only, uh, in the sky cave, only they don't because, um, well, I guess they were never implemented. I don't know why I uh, said that. Just an interesting little tidbit. Anyway, let's keep grinding. Let's see here. I still have around 20 minutes. That uh, should be enough for... Oh, gang. Somewhere around... Uh, hopefully at least level 10. Again, the treasure chest will be lost if you leave the area.
Oh yeah, there's a whole bunch of them here. Okay, so these ones did we set, so let's deal with that before we uh, head back out. Only reason why I'm gathering gold still is because, again, uh, get, get, getting money for uh, camping supplies is pretty much necessary. You know, it may not seem that apparent right now what I uh, said, but let me tell you what, the, the majority of things in the later parts of the game can kill you immediately. As I'm sure they all try to demonstrate. Anyway, let's uh, get that back. I don't know how much more grinding I'll be needing to do, but I'm hoping to get at least level 10. So, let's see, 509. That should be enough for level 9. Okay, 68. Yes, I do. Okay, let's hear 16 of those. Alright. Okay, well, I think that's about it for now. I'll keep going until I get it always to level 10.
Uh, did I forget to mention the sweeping mechanic where uh, once you once you arrest a certain number of times, the enemy actually gets slightly stronger. Well, uh, yeah, they do get slightly stronger once you rest uh, so many times. And uh, apparently I've rested so much that they're uh, one hit point stronger now. Grass isn't exactly a substantial increase, but it is worth noting. Okay. As you can see, getting gold here is really not too big of an issue. Actually, in all honesty, uh, after you get started, getting gold isn't really too big of an issue. It's really surviving uh, in the later stages that are going to be the big issue. Oh, and I still have to deal with these. Okay, that's fine. Ironically, uh, spellcasters are the only things that can actually poison you in this game. Even though these things are spiders. I should also mention that uh, by actually putting all these in the upper area, you can actually uh, pick up more items. Just be warned that uh, you will use the items. Eh, you will use your items in your uh, Kui. I'm going to pronounce it that way. I forget how exactly it's uh, pronounced. I'm pretty sure I remember how it's spelled. Uh, Q U E E U uh, E It's Queen spelled that way. I don't know. Uh, item box. Yeah, there we go. That's the term. 
y'all yeah, want to accidentally use it if you're on the item icon. So be very careful if you're going to do that. Okay, 400. I'm gonna say around eh, 550 maybe. 550, 600, that sounds about right. So, make one more run, round. I really don't know how much more grinding I'll be needing to do in the next episode. But for now, uh, let's just uh, go back to town. Try to level up. Okay, then one more round, then. That's unfortunate. Okay, and one more round. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm going to hope level 10 is enough to get through the dragon layer. Okay, 620 over 625, that should be more than enough. Okay, four more. I'm going to hope it's not going to be seven hundred or more. Again, I'll just keep going until level 10 and then in this episode. Hopefully that'll be enough for the Dragon Lair in the next episode. Pretty sure I already dealt with that. No, I didn't. Okay, let's uh, go through that. Yes, there you go. Okay, let's go down here and deal with these ones real quick. Okay, then, and leave. Okay, let's uh, hope that's enough for level 10. Again, I don't know uh, how much more training I need to do until uh, I can actually successfully deal with the uh, dragon wire, but we will see in the next episode. After I uh, get a level up, I about now and rest. Okay, level 10, and that's 79. So... Almost 80 HP, can't complain too much. And let's reset the kill counter. And I'm going to end this episode here. That being said, I hope everyone's enjoying this much better than I am, as I said in the last video. So, everybody have a good day.